Hello, Hi, my everyone. sexy little. No, stop talk. Why are you always try to talk? I'm talking. I'm talking. This is my channel. What's going on, fam? It's your boy Papa Swolio. Thank you. Thank you. Far too kind. Settle down. Settle down now. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Make sure you subscribe for more content. Of course, we got some nuts on chin. This is some thirst quenching goodness. Oh, I'm glad you're back, and I know you're ready to get into this one. Things that frighten fat people, part two. Oh, 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 oh. I hope this is a series. Oh my God, you know it's gonna Matt get. Damon. Yes, I, there's there gonna be plenty of Matt Damon. We need to pour some more coffee. But before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you comment on this video. But also, you see down below at the bottom, it says subscribe to the Daily Swole on your favorite app. That's right. The Daily Swole is a podcast. It's a full-blown show. It's a full-blown experience with myself and the Swole fam. We go over posts just like this and amazing success stories too. So we contrast this type of gunch with some amazing success inside the Swole fam. Take lots of questions live every single day on the Daily Swole channel. So the links are down below. You can also check the related channels or just head on over, just type in the Daily Swole and hit that subscribe button. I go live here on YouTube every single day. And also you can catch the podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, The Daily Swole is available everywhere that you like to bang your ear holes. Wow. That's absolutely right. So make sure you subscribe to The Daily Swole on your favorite app. Do not miss out on that. Again, subscribe and bang your ear holes with a little Papa Swole. If it can fit in there, you might be a virgin, but hey, come on. It's only uncomfortable for the first time. You know that's true. You know it's true. Yeah. Only at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, that being said, um, oh, we got some other stuff going on. Again, also down below, if you want to join the Swole fam, now's the time to do it. We have amazing Black Swole Week specials. They've launched early because a lot of you are dealing with quarantine and shutdown, so make sure that you are not out in the cold, literally and figuratively. If you don't have access to your gym, you can get access to the Swole fam. You get access to Swole Normous X, hundreds of yoga classes, full programs, 12 months of programming right out the gate, and you can always customize those and repeat these programs. You can do them at home, at the gym, any Anywhere, but especially those of you that might be quarantined, you might be locked out of your gym. You could do your dumbbell training, kettlebell training, band training, everything at home, yoga, meditation, all seven pillars. Check it out, swolenormousx.com. Black Swole Week starts early, and Matt Damon starts Matt early. Damon. All right, good intro, good talk. Let's get into it. Hadouken. Hadouken. Oh, oh, oh. Things that frighten fat people, part two. I'm excited. Are you excited? Probably. Probably. All right, let's get into it. Hi, everyone, and welcome to part two of Things That Frighten the Life Out of Fat People. Part two. Things That fatten the Scare the Life Out of Fat People. Oh. One of these tables. Fat people deserve pampering too. Can we spend our whole time relaxing whilst getting a massage or beauty treatment? Probably not. What the? Okay, hold on. I got to translate this. You Brits. You Brits. Of things that frighten the life out of fat people. Frighten the life out of you. You mean the life leaves you? That's a lot of life. <laughs> okay, fine. One of these tables. Fat people deserve pampering too. Can we spend our whole time relaxing whilst getting a massage or beauty treatment? While get while gets in a massage? A massage. It's gonna break. Probably not. Okay, so you can't enjoy a massage, a massage. You can't enjoy a massage because you're fat. Uh, look, I mean, it's like a chair. If you can't fit on a massage table, if you can't fit on a massage table, then maybe you should take better care of yourself. I mean, I guess you could be a big person. You could be 6'5". You need to get a special massage table. Literally. I mean, not here. here's the thing. Not everything should be made to fit everyone. And I'm not saying this because, look, you could be a 6'5 football player and be freaking yoked and have risk of a massage table. I'm sorry, I gotta get my accent proper. Um, and break that. I mean, I've had chairs, those plastic shitty lawn chairs break before and stuff. But I mean, if you are, you can't expect the entire world to have everything revolving around you, especially when it's something that you can control. So maybe you don't go lay down on a massage table like if you're too big, you have to go on a special material, lay, lay on the floor. I don't know. It's like the whole world doesn't have to revolve around you. Shocker. The whole world doesn't have to revolve around you. Wow. Wow. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? Probably not. Teeny tiny changing rooms. Can we get away with just normally changing rather than doing a quick spin and ended up accidentally wearing the curtain as a bandeau top? Probably not. What? 
<laughs> teeny tiny changing rooms. If you can't fit in a changing room, you better be a professional basketball player. If you can't fit in a changing room, okay, this is this is square footage. Not every store, not every shop, like can like have the space to fit a ton of changing rooms. That costs money. Changing rooms and space cost money. If you are abnormally huge, that's your responsibility. You might not be able to fit. If you wrap yourself up in a curtain, if you can't fit in a changing room, that's a warning sign. That's a warning sign. Changing rooms are made for people. You do realize if you're abnormally tall, you're gonna have a tough time going under doors. Notice how tall people aren't, you know, arguing in the street, making TikToks like, oh my God, everyone should make taller doorways. You can't change the standards of buildings just because you are unusually tall. There's a reason why door frames are a certain size. It's because people can fit through them. There's always anomalies. There's, there, there's small people, there are big people, but you can't choose your height, that's genetic. Okay, there are predispositions for weight and stuff, but come on, seriously, if you're having trouble fitting in a fitting room that you're, you're, you're going to complain, you're complaining about the fitting room, not, hmm, I wonder why I can't fit in a damn fitting room. Maybe there's something else going on here. Hmm, me thinks this problem, this issue could be avoided. Hmm, me thinks. Small toilet cubicles. Can we go for a wee without having to have the flexibility of a gymnast? Probably not. What is Matt Damon? Who needs the flexibility? Okay, if you need the flexibility of a gymnast to go to the bathroom, if you, <laughs> who's doing splits and back bends in a public restroom? Okay, if you're actually taking a Duke abroad, all right. I don't like playing. I don't like. I don't like the away team. I don't like visiting. I like to poop at home, all right? I poo at home whenever possible. I recommend that for most of you. But if you have to go to the bathroom in a public restroom, uh, you do not need to be a yogi. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. If you need, if you're that big, you can't use a public restroom, a public changing room. If you are that big that you cannot use those, there is an issue that precedes that outcome. Like everyone has to change to suit your obesity. Really? Really? The entitled nature of that lassie. Your lovely friends who are far more active than you invite you out for a short 10K walk. Sure. Are you going to go? Probably not. That scares you to death. Your friend that's active wants you to be active and you're probably not going to go. I need to hear that again. This is ridiculous. Than you invite you out for your lovely friends who are far more active than you invite your lovely friends who are far more active than you far more active than you okay there's the answer right there far more active uh huh they're far more active i'm sure they can fit into public restrooms i'm sure they can fit into changing rooms i'm sure they can fit on a massage table for a short 10k walk are you gonna go walking a few miles that's not that that should be fine. A short 10K walk at six miles. It's not, it's not that far for walking. There's a picture here of running. It's not that walking. You could walk a couple miles. That's not a big deal. It shouldn't be a big deal just to walk a couple miles. Probably not. Probably not. Then don't go for a walk Then stay fat. Like, what do you want? What do you want anyone to say? So you're, it's your friend's fault that they invite you on to go for a walk probably not going to go. Yeah, no kidding. You're probably not going to go, which is why you're fat. It's like common sense, please. You get into an unfamiliar car. Is the seatbelt going to do up? Probably not. It's annoying little alarm going to keep bloody going until it realizes you're not going to put it on because it doesn't fit. Probably. <laughs> Again, if you're getting into a car and you can't fit a seatbelt, you know how much slack a seatbelt has? It has a lot of slack. You can fit, that thing stretches a lot before you plug it in and then it locks. You got a lot of leeway with, you get a lot of leeway with a, uh, a seatbelt. If you can't fit into a car and you can't fit in a seatbelt, I'll tell you what, I used to travel a lot for work and 
because the company used to pay for the rental, used to cover it. When I would go and pick out a rental, you know, when you go to a rental place, they give you a key and they say, hey, choose a car in this lane, choose a car over here. A lot of times you just get a car, let's say you get a compact or a midsize, whatever it is, and then you just go down one aisle and you choose the car that you want. They give you a choice. So a lot of times I would just pick a different car because, hey, I've never driven this one before. Just, be, just for fun, because I was there for a couple days, didn't matter, I didn't need a luxury car, or a big car. Sometimes I'll just mess around and try something that I never drove before. And I remember I drove a Fiat, and I swear, it was like a horse and buggy. I've ne I felt like I was in a clown car. I was all scrunched in, I couldn't see anything, there's blind spots everywhere. I felt like I was in a toy car, okay? Not every car is ideal, but if you're having problems, it's like I get into a strange car, let me hear this again, a strange car, okay. So random car manufacturers that it's uh, like everyone's supposed to just suit your sensibilities and your individual. You get into needs. an unfamiliar car. Is this an unfamiliar car? Oh my God. If you get into a small sports car, it's, it's going to be a tight fit. Not every car is the same, which is why people choose different cars. You might need a boat. I don't know. Like you're going to need a different car. Get a suburban then get into a bigger car. You get into an unfamiliar car. So every car company has to fit you. Every car company has to be perfect. Every car company, every car company has to be just dead on, dead on. Belt gonna do up? Probably not. Probably not. It's that annoying little alarm gonna keep bloody going until it realizes you're not gonna put it on because it doesn't fit. Probably. You shouldn't be, dr you're not gonna put it on because it doesn't fit. You shouldn't be driving in the car if you can't put your seatbelt on. All right, that's illegal. I don't know, I guess you're in the UK. I mean, in the United States, it's illegal. You can't be in the car because you can freaking die, okay? It's not safe to not have your seatbelt on. That's why it's there. That's why it's the law. Buckle up, it's the law. Um, Like, not everything in the world has to mold itself to you. There's always gonna be something that doesn't fit you perfectly. There's things that don't fit me perfectly. We've talked about this before. Airplane seats don't always fit. Like, not everything has to fit. Not everything has to be perfect. Not everything is going to be for you, your majesty, your majesty, your highness. Not everything is for you. There are a lot of people in this world. That's why there's choices. You can choose something else. Buy a bigger car. Go into a bigger car. If it happens to be tight, whoop, maybe that's a warning sign. Don't change, yeah, but don't change yourself. Don't take any responsibility. Just blame a random car that you don't happen to fit into. Just blame one manufacturer of a of a massage table, not your necessary necessity to change. Blame a store for not wanting to take up extra, extra, extra square footage for their rent because there may be an obese person that comes in to want to try on some clothes. Um, forgive us if, let's see, scrolling through, oh, your friend, or but forgive us if a stall doesn't suit your big, beautiful behind, you have to do yoga to go to the bathroom in a public restroom. Like, give me a break, your friend. Oh, your friend shouldn't invite you for a 10K walk, walk. If you can't walk for a couple miles, if you can't fit into a changing room, if you can't fit into a bathroom, if you can't lay on a massage table because it might break, if you can't fit into a car, like, there's issues here. You wanna go on a banana boat? Will these go over these boobs? Probably not. What is a, a banana boat? You want to go on a banana boat and a life? <laughs> then don't go on a banana boat. Okay? Don't go on a banana boat. Don't. Don't. You must be this tall and you must be less than this wide to go on this ride, to go on this banana boat. Don't go on a banana boat. Like, when does that even come up as like a concern? Oh my God. I, I'm so upset. I can't go on a banana boat. Wow. That's really a... Uh, wow. And that, that's really a tough, that's a, that's a tough thing to deal with. Oh man. Oh, your life is, your life is rough. Talk about first world problems. You can't go on a banana boat. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. And before I go, a special shout out to Hills. I have no idea what just happened. I have no idea what just happened. To Hills, a shout out a to- A special shout out to Hills. To Hills? A special shout out to Hills? You mean elevation? You mean an incline? Is this like a, is this a town in, in Britain or something? Please tell me there's a town called, I'm sure there is a town called Hills, but I'm sure, I'm, I'm assuming she's saying that mother nature, that earth, that the universe is to blame. 
So shout out to hills. How dare people build a town where there are hills because you happen to be fat in 2020. Gee, a us, a Christ. This is ridiculous. I don't believe you people. Insane. What do you mean, you people? You people are insane. You wokesters are absolutely insane. Just the audacity, the audacity for someone, for everyone else to have to change, for everything else, even, oh, even, even city planning has to revolve around your obesity. Give me a break. If you can't handle a hill, if you can't walk for a couple miles, if you can't fit into a change room, if you can't fit into a public bathroom, if you can't lay on a massage table without it breaking, if you, I mean, if you can't go on a banana boat, which you need to fix your life. You need to fix your brain too. Come on, get some, take some personal responsibility. Not everyone has to bend over backwards to suit your sensibilities and to suit your obesity. That's absurd. But what are your thoughts, fam? Drop a comment down below. Another little Matt Damon for the road. Yeah, make sure you check out SwoleNormousX.com for the Black Swole Week specials going on right now. Don't miss out on the Swole Fam. It is the best time to join. You got your everything you need 24-7, 365. Check it out, SwoleNormousX.com. And of course, right at the bottom of the screen, you can see it says subscribe to the Daily Swole in your favorite app. That's right. Make sure you subscribe to the Daily Swole here on YouTube for more content just like this. And also... Type in The Daily Swole, follow us. You could also check out the description, all the related channels, but the podcast, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Go follow The Daily Swole. Bang your ear holes with Papa Swole and the Swole fam. Again, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, The Daily Swole, The Daily Swole podcast. Don't miss it. Make sure you follow and bang your ear holes with ye old knowledge cock every single day. This has been some thirst quenching goodness. I am... This is the best pre-workout. I'm telling you, fam. This is the best pre-workout. Now I'm ready to absolutely go rage. I'm ready to rage. I, I cannot believe the entitlement here. Uh, what are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for some more Extra Thirsty. Peace out. Skeletons on closets and making new deposits. I'm in my element, no alleys, you children popping.